Hello. Today I would like to show you the process of me fixing my soldering station. Over here you've got the model number. And the soldering station have a great tool that I extremely love. I'm completely in love because we've got a fume extractor. So you don't have to breathe in any leftover from the flux because it's going getting collected over here. And via that hose, it's going over here. And the problem is that I completely lost, lost the, the air in. And I almost do not have any air out for the hot air side. So something is broken and I have to find the answer. The first thing you would like to do is that you would like to remove that hose just like that and you would like to turn it on and check the airflow meter and also put uh, your finger over here and check do you have a vacuum because i sometimes i've got a blockage over here i have to crush it and then take out and sometimes i've got a blockage over here and just by removing that piece and checking the vacuum you know that we do not have a blockage in that part of the hose. The next problem that might happen is in the air filter. As you can see this is this is our air filter and sometimes it can block too and when it's too much of the flux residue you have to replace that and also over here We've got our connection between the hose and the and the soldering station, and we've got a hole over here. And as you can as you can see, hopefully, there is a residue of the flux. And I had a situation when that was completely blocked. So right now you should be able to see, but if yours is blocked, you just put a screwdriver over here and make sure you you make a good clean and that is completely completely visible but that's not the case that's not the my problem i also removed over here uh, the airflow monitor with the ball inside and i've got uh, some flux over here and a couple years ago i got a blockage over here I've got this part completely completely blocked. So what I'm doing, I'm just adding uh, isopropyl alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, and I just let it sit for a while to, to dissolve the, the flux and until we are going to get a, a good air flow. But that's not the case in my situation. So let's Let's see that again. Whoops. Over here we've got our air pump. And this is the air out that's going into the hot air because that's uh, like a closed system. So we've got air coming air coming from from the from the soldering station and the fume extractor. There is a one pump for the the two things. So if if we have a blockage on the at the input, we also use the lose the output. But in in mine problem is as you can see over here, we've got a blockage. This is the pipe that's connecting that element, that air filter, and the the air from the fume extractor is going directly over here to the pump input. So this is our input and this is our straight output and that output is going to the to the airflow monitor so we can adjust the the desired airflow. So this is our problem and I'm pretty sure that the the pump it's not that easy to to open but I'm pretty sure that I will be able to to clean it just by just by poking over there 
the good thing would be okay I, I will get a, a drill okay I'm back with a drill I'm going to try to drill a hole from the solid flux just because the drill have a ability to pull it out not to push it inside because we do not want them you can see how many flags we've got over here that's not looking good okay I'm going to try it on and hopefully that will and we've got a suction which is very good the air out is also very good I can feel that right now we've got a very good air coming out as you can see we are blowing our flux which is not good and let me connect for a second our air output and the rest of the flux is going to shoot straight away but no worries and as you can see we are out of the scale which is very very good we've got a very good airflow okay so let's take it back together so we clear our blockage over here as you can see it's, it's completely clean I'm going to put it back just on the on the reverse order I'm going to put it over here and we've got on the back I'm going to unplug it for safety reason just to make it right and we are going to put our screw from the front we are going to put a washer over here is the LED I need a tweezer yes we've got okay that's getting to be annoying I have to stop it because I really don't like when the tiny part don't want to cooperate okay so after a while I managed to put it back now we have to just screw it back just like that and right now this is our air out this is on on top just like that air out from the pump over there and the light for the LED is over here and our air input from the fume extractor is going over on top of the pump just from the other angel you can see everything and let's make a test okay we power it on and I can feel air going in which is a very good I'm going to turn it off okay and now we can test it I'm going to turn it on and I can check do we have uh, airflow at the output and yes we've got we can adjust it we've got a nice airflow 
at the output and now we can check our film extractor I'm going to grab uh, some flux and I'm going to touch on the tip and can you see it? how nicely it how nicely it's sucking very very good very good working so yes that basically everything what you can do and what can can go wrong from my paint perspective I show you that you can get a blockage over here you can get the blockage inside of that hose you can get a blockage in that element you can get blockage over here and at the input of the pump I do not have ever any any other problem so I think that that will cover the most thing you can you have to do to maintain operation of your soldering station so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye